Hello, 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 and welcome back to Over the Moon Bedtime Stories. Glad to see you. Tonight, our story is going to be coming from our five-minute Disney Junior Stories. And the name of our story tonight is a Dr. McStuffing. It's called Doctoring the Doc. Sometimes doctors need a little doctoring too. You know, they get sick and stuff too, so sometimes they need help too. And that's what such our story is about tonight. It's time for Doc McStuffing to open her clinic, but she isn't feeling quite like herself. Doc's friends are inside waiting for her. Hi, Doc, exclaimed Lammy. Glad you're here, sugar, says Hallie. Doc greets them more quickly than usual. Hi, guys, she says. Lammy and Stuffy can't wait to play and spend the day with Doc. But Chili isn't feeling so great. Can you feel my belly? It's all lumpy. Come on, let's take a look, Doc answered, escorting Chili to the checkup room. Lammy noticed that Doc seems a bit tired. Is she okay? She does seem a little draggy and saggy, notes Hallie. Hallie, could I have the tweezers so I can look in Chili's ears, Doc says. Then she laughs. Wait, what? Did I say tweezers? I didn't mean tweezers. Hallie is surprised. Doc never gets the instruments mixed up. Okay, I'm ready to give your diag- hey, Choo! Your diag- hey, Choo! Doc sneezes twice more before continuing. Chili, you have stuffed bellyitis. It means your belly is filled with stuffing. Just like it should be. <laughs> You're fine. Chili may be fine, but I'm not sure you are, Doc, Hallie says gently. Doc realizes she's right. I guess I'm not feeling so good. You've always taken care of us, Doc, says Stuffy. Now we're going to take care of you. It's time for your checkup, announces Chili. Lammy gives Doc a loving pat. Now don't be scared, Doc. We're here to help you. And if you need a cuddle, they're free for the asking. Hallie listens to Doc's heartbeat and then touches her forehead. You're feeling a little warm to me. Doc sniffles, so Lammy hands her a tissue and your nose is running. After Stuffy checks her eyes and ears and has a diagnosis, Doc, you have a severe case of leaky snuffleitis. Hallie wishes they could help Doc, but they only know how to fix toys. I think you need a doctor. Lucky they don't have to go far to find one. Doc Mom is a doctor. The toys pile into the wagon to follow their friend inside. Doc finds her mom in the kitchen. Mom, I'm not feeling well. My throat kind of hurts. I'm sneezing a lot and I've got the sniffles. I feel like blah. Let's head to my office for a checkup, Mom says. First, Mom inspects Doc's throat. Open wide. Next, she checks Doc's eyes and ears. Then it's time to take Doc's temperature. Sweetie, you have a slight fever, but you'll feel better if you drink lots of liquids and get some rest, Doc's orders. Mom gives Doc a kiss on the forehead and sends her to bed. Today is officially a sick day. Doc scoots up her toys and heads upstairs. Her friends promise to take good care of her. Hallie blows a whistle. Troops, we've got a VIP patient in need of our help. Doc, you're gonna lie down. Squeakers fluff the pillow. Lammy and Stuffy tuck her in tight. Can't move, need to sneeze, says Doc. Quickly, the toys pull the covers free so Doc can grab a tissue. Achoo! Chili turns on the radio. How about a little music? And a get well dance, add Lammy. Turn it down, Hallie blows her whistle again. Then Stuffy tries to bring Doc a glass of water, but he trips over a block. Doc hops out of bed in time to catch the glass. Then to help her rest, Snuffy and Lammy tell Doctor a story about a dragon and a princess on an island. Lammy spins the globe to show Doc the island, but
but Stuffy's tail gets caught in it. Lammy tries to help. Hold still, I'll pull. Before they know it, they both tumble off the desk. Help, cries Lammy. Double help, yelps Stuffy. Doc jumps out of bed again to rescue her friends. No, you need to be resting, Hallie shouts. When Mom hears all the commotion in Doc's room, she pops in. Doc, what are you doing out of bed? Doc is startled. Oh, I, uh, I had to save my toys. Mom tucks Doc back into bed. You're sick, and the best way for your body to get better is for you to rest. Really rest. After her mom leaves, Doc tells her friends that she really needs some quiet so she can fall asleep. Well, there's one thing we can do better than anything else. We can help you rest, says Lammy. We can let you cuddle with us while you sleep. The toys climb into bed with Doc and snuggle close, and Doc and her friends fall fast asleep. The next morning, the toys wake up before Doc. Hallie touches Doc's forehead and smiles cool as a cucumber. Doc opens her eyes and sits up. Morning, everyone. I'm feeling a lot better. Thanks for letting me rest. Lammy giggles. A good night's sleep is just what the doctor ordered. Morning, sweet pea, says Doc's mom coming into the room. She feels Doc's forehead. Your fever's gone. I feel much better, Doc says. I had the best care ever. Mom smiles, thinking Doc means the care she had given her. She doesn't know that Doc is talking about her toys, too. Do you think I can go outside and play, asks Doc. Mom thinks for a minute before answering. Doc doesn't have a fever anymore. Her sneezing has stopped, and she seems to have a lot more energy. Well, as long as you take it easy for a day or so. I don't see why not, Mom says. Back at the clinic, the toys scramble to help Doc. Do you want to sit down for a spell, Sugar? asks Hallie. Maybe you need an ice pack, Chili suggests. How about some extra cuddles? I'm worried you didn't get enough, says Lammy. <laughs> Let me take your bag off her, Snuffy. Ooh, it's heavy. Doc smiles. Guys, I rested and I'm feeling much better, really. No need to fuss over me. The friends are relieved to have Doc back in the clinic. I'm glad you're feeling better because I'm pretty sure stuffed bellyitis is back, said Chili. Doc laughs. Well, I couldn't have done it without my wonderful team of doctors. They were the best medicine. Now let's get to the checkup, Chili. The doc is back in town. The end. I hope you enjoyed one of our Dr. McStuffing stories. And now it's time for you to go to sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow night on Over the Moon Bedtime Stories. Good night.